I've decided to run for counselor because I have found the last 12 years to be incredibly gratifying. Uh, the fact is it takes a lot of time and energy to, to learn this business and to represent the public well. And, and even though I've had 12 years, there's, there's more to come. I, I really enjoy the fact that I get to serve uh, people in small issues and large issues alike. Uh, people trust me, they, they call upon me to help them and uh, it's incredibly uh, gratifying because uh, that is what public office is all about. It's about serving the public, um, serving their interests and ensuring that the issues that they come to you with are being resolved. And so if I were privileged to be back here again for a fifth term, uh, my, my mandate will be to continue to do that, to, to serve the public, uh, take the calls, answer the emails and respond to their needs and, and allow them to really feel represented at City Council. Being in public office often comes with its challenges. Sometimes you're pegged as being uh, part of an alignment of a particular interest group or something else, but in reality, I'm not aligned with any particular interest group. My mandate is to serve the public, uh, one and all. I look at young and old, uh, business sector, uh, private and public uh, sectors as being equal. And because I don't serve any particular one, I have the opportunity to serve all of them very well and be a spokesperson for them. And I think my record over the last 12 years has shown that to be true. And so, again, I, I love the fact that I stand above the crowd in that regard and that um, I'm there and people know that I'm there to speak on their behalf regardless of the sector that they represent. I think one of the biggest issues facing Medicine Hat today is the downturn in the economy. Uh, Canada is in a slump and uh, Medicine Hat is no exception to that. We've seen some businesses leave our community. Uh, the prospect of some expansions in our major industry are exciting and we're encouraged by that. But this next uh, council is going to have to work really hard and, and collaborate and really promote this community to communities outside of our own area because, let's face it, large industries aren't moving in to anyone's backyard readily today. So. A council that has a common vision, embraces uh, the idea of bringing industry here, working together, has an excellent opportunity of achieving that goal. And we have to work with our small and, and medium-sized businesses. They are the incubators for tomorrow's big business. And I really believe that the economic engine of this community will be driven by a council who works together. And I want to be a part of that team. Growing up in a family where I was one of eight children, uh, quite frankly, didn't give us the opportunity to go to many places or, or leave the city at all. And so it was really the simple things that I really uh, held close to my heart. I recall a time when we would just pack ourselves into the old station wagon and make our way out to Cypress Hills and have a family picnic, have some ice cream, uh, play on the beach and, and just enjoy Mother Nature's backyard. As maybe unexciting as that sounds, for me, those are some of the most gratifying memories I hold close to my heart, particularly because it was with my family, who I'm, I'm very close to. And so I, I look at that as really indicative of the people at Medicine Hat. We're a close community. We care about each other. And it's the simple things that really bring us together. And so for me, that, that's really one of the memories that I really hold close to my heart.